Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, The Unconventional Attorney. Today, I want to offer you a sales mindset tip to get more clients. Before we do that though, as always, I want to remind you, if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you can get access to that um, for free by going to unconventionalnewsletter.com. Okay, every Sunday I'll send you some goodness unconventionalnewsletter.com. All right. Sales mindset tip. It's a big one. It's one that um, I have to remind myself of every once in a while. Something I'm talking to my uh, my attorney every once in a while to remind them. It's something I have conversations about today, multiple occasions. And what can often happen is if we're not careful, we can get into this mindset of, of every conversation that we have with a potential client needing to be a sale. It can be because we've had a run of bad luck, right? We've had a run of no's. Business is slow. Um, whatever the case, we believe we have this false idea about what an, a good sign-up rate is. Whatever the case may be, we can get into this mindset of, um, of feeling disappointment or, or almost disgust. If we have a conversation with a potential client and they're not a good fit, or we can't help them, or they, they don't have any money, or all of these things that can happen that, that really sort of just make us grumpy when it comes to talking to potential clients. So this is what I try to do. This is the mindset that I adopt for every single sales conversation that I have, um, no matter what. And that is, I am trying to bring my best self to every conversation, try to provide as much value as I can within that conversation, and if there is an opportunity for me to help them more, to give them every opportunity to choose me to help them, all right? What that means is if I talk to somebody that I know I can't help or that I can't help and it's pretty clear from the beginning, I will help them as much as I can, as quickly as I can, but I won't, I won't feel anger or resentment or anything towards them because I can't help them or because they're a bad fit. I'm here to help. Right? We are attorneys, we are counselors, we are, we are here to provide solutions and strategies for people who need help. So why not just enjoy that 10 or 15 minutes with that person and, and leave them feeling better about their situation? Leave them with some ideas about how they can fix their problem. If one of those um, ideas for fixing their problem is you, all the better. But if it's not, that's okay too. And when you're playing this game, you know, you're going to have to talk to people that you can't help. To give you a perfect example, I have people sign up to talk to me about probates from all over the country, okay? Because of the videos that I make and because of some of those things that I do, it's not intentional, I don't spend any money on it, but it happens. When I see someone that has signed up um, to talk to me for a potential client meeting, at least half the time, I will talk to them anyway. Even though I know, I literally know I cannot help them no matter what, under no circumstances can I help them, I will let them know that at the beginning that I cannot help them, but that you know whatever the question they asked I thought was important enough that I wanted to provide them some value and give them an answer straight away so that they can move on and um, do their thing. The other half of the people that I don't talk, they're litigious, and so I don't, it's not something I would take anyway. I have no offer, no value to offer them, so I don't talk to them, okay, if you're wondering about the halfsy thing. But I think that, that really carries over into all of my other conversations um, and certainly helps me sign more people up because I'm not pressing for the sale all the time. I don't appear to be needy. You know, I don't appear to like, like I need this sale right now or it's, or it's gonna be terrible. And I think that, that goes a long way. People want confidence. People want um, a little bit, of, it's not aloofness, but people want to feel like you, they don't, you don't need their money, right, to keep going, okay? So I wanted to talk about that real quick because I know when it gets slow or, you know, or, if the phone hasn't been ringing for a while, or if you talk to a, uh, you know several people in a row and they're just not good fits, it's easy to get into this mindset of, of negativity. And I want to encourage you to just show up to every call um, with with passion, right? With uh, with that mentality that you're there to help, to do your best, provide some value, and if they are a good fit for you, to let them hire you. All right, that's it. As always, I'm Christopher Small. Uh, oh, as always, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you know someone needs to hear, please share with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. Um, and if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you can go to unconventionalnewsletter.com and subscribe. Okay, it's free. It's amazing. Unconventionalnewsletter.com. All right.
As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. I will talk to you again soon.